So for this particular tutorial, I'm doing the lock method, which is leave-in conditioner, oil, and cream. I'm already putting my leave-in conditioner. I just used my raw Shea Moisture Extra Moisture Detangler from Shea Moisture. Just put a very generous amount because I have thicker hair. And for my oil, I just used some olive oil from my local beauty supply store. It comes in this container by Hollywood Beauty. Works great for my hair. You can use whatever you want. For the cream, I'm actually using a gel because I tend to mix or often take turns between creams and gels. I prefer gels. God, my chair will just stop making this damn noise. I just kind of alternate between the two. And honestly, I prefer gels because it gives my hair even more of a defined look. And this one is from Miss Jessie's and this is their multi cultural clear it comes in this container i have a link down below where you can find this it's natural has no artificial colors no mineral oil no petroleum no sulfates no animal testing so it's vegan and it's for multi-textured hair fast drying curl defining non-sticky it's pretty much a wash and go styling gel so that's what we're going to use today going to get about that amount you can see that may be enough may not be enough we'll see i normally use a lot just to make sure it goes from the roots to the tips. You can kind of see how long my hair has gotten. It just shrinks very easily, like really easily. And I like to just saturate my hair and stuff. So I'm gonna add a little more just to make sure all my curls get defined. Same amount. And my hair is freshly washed, just in case I didn't tell you already. You could definitely leave it like this if you want. But with all of that stuff I just piled in my hair, the lock stuff, I'm going to take a wide tooth comb and just comb my hair just to make sure all the product gets evenly distributed. Now once again, you can leave it as is or you can sponge it like I'm about to do or you can do twist out, you can do um, perm rods, anything like that. I don't have time for all of that right now. I may decide to do it, but for today I'm just going to use my sponge. Let me know if you're interested in getting one of these. Um, my hairstyle is actually so sweet. So just let me know if you want one of these. It's pretty much like a wide sponge, has holes in it and it creates, I don't know, dread look without being actually dreads. So I'm just going to take this and sponge my hair. Just really creates nice defined curls without actually doing it yourself. The sponge actually does it for you. And this actually works better when you have drier hair, so it might take me a little longer. And it actually dries your hair in the process. So you don't go outside in the cool air with a wet hand. So it's kind of like a multi-purpose tool. You can see my curls getting defined slowly but surely, but it's a lot quicker than sitting there and twisting each individual strand. I could definitely just wear it like this and be good to go, but I like to add a little more texture. Well, not texture, but a little more of a style to it. So I'll add a part on the side and I'll fix my baby hairs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's pretty much sponge to my liking. Hopefully you can see that. So, and that's the best it's going to do anyway with it still being wet, but I'm going to go ahead and part it. How I want it. I normally part it on the side like this. Sometimes I'll do a deep part, sometimes I'll do a, a smaller part. I'm just gonna leave it like this for today since it's wet. And you can put a bobby pin there to secure it, but I find when the hair is wet, it staves. But, um, see, I don't really have to put a pin in there now. 
since it's still wet. As long as you kind of train the hair to stay there, it'll be good. So I'm going to kind of train it for a little bit and then it'll just stay. Now I'm going to take a little bit more, just the tiniest bit of this Miss Jessie's Multicultural Clear. It's like a tongue, tongue twister, but I'm going to take some of that along my sides and I'm going to do my baby hairs. And to do those, I just use a little comb that I found in a Laura's pack from Dollar Tree. You get, it's a dollar for like 50 of them. And I'm just gonna comb those into place how I want them. You can do these however you want. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. And for a little bit of a shine, I like to go on top with some type of shine. <laughs> this is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. And I actually stole it to my boyfriend. He had it and he's not using it, so it's mine. So I'm just gonna spray some on top for a little bit of a shine, just a little bit. I did about seven, but yeah. <laughs> I'll just get closer so you can see it. Those are my curls, really defined. I didn't do anything too crazy with my baby hair. I mean, something kind of natural so it's not obvious, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed my hair tutorial using the Miss Jessie's Multi Cultural Clear. And I really like this product because it's a gel. It gives your hair that wet look like you just got out of the shower. Which I actually just did. But it actually does that when your hair is dry too. And it doesn't take much product at all. It gives your hair that wet look. It doesn't leave that white, nasty, flaky looking stuff on your hair. On your hair the residue. You guys know what I'm talking about doesn't leave all of that stuff on your hair but it still gives it that wet look and it's very hydrated very moisturized i'm also going to do other wash and goes using other products um i have a lot of products a lot of hair products that i can experiment with i even have the popular eco styler gel and i'll do one on that too if you want me to just let me know if you have any questions feel free to leave them below any tips leave them below I'm always open to new stuff because I am still new to the natural stuff. I think I'm like mm, a month and a half natural, something like that. I have cut it again, like the sides, because I don't want the fro. And I, I don't like the even fro. I don't like that. Until it grows longer, then I'll actually let it grow. But I don't like how it looks. I like the tapered look on me better. I think I'm going to leave it short for a little while before I start letting it grow out. But I'm going to think about it. But yeah, if you have any suggestions or tips, just let me know. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Link to the Miss Jessie's hair product will be down below as well. I will talk to all of you next time. Thank you for watching.